Hi, this is Karen Lambert, and I'm here today with Mike Krause at Whitman Works Company, an art gallery in Penfield, New York. Hi, Mike, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Right now, we're standing here next to this wall of featuring some of Mike's artwork. Can you tell me a little bit about your artwork here on the wall? Oh, yeah, I have uh, various kinds of landscapes. Uh, some of them are more realistic, like Seneca Lake here, a view of uh, the lake from a farm. And then there's some more abstracted pieces, like this uh, winter wood scene, which has some uh, metallic paint and uh, some uh, exaggerated features on it. I like that one. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Your artwork is beautiful, and I can't wait to get to learn a little bit more about you and how you make your art. What's the youngest age that you remember painting? Actually painting, I would say, it was in uh, it was in high school, uh, but as far as like starting drawing artwork and uh -huh. making like things, I've, I've been doing that as long as I can remember. Did your parents notice that you had something special when you were young? Uh, special might be a little bit of a strong word, but they were definitely encouraging. I was going to say, did they encourage you to uh, pursue art? Yeah, they, they, what they would do is they would, every, like there was a little art store that was nearby where I, I grew up and so they would, once a week we would go by there and they would, buy me whatever item, so it'd be like a sketchbook one week, it would be some crayons the next week, it would be some kind of a uh, weird drafting tool that I had no idea how to use, <laughs> uh, anything that was usually like, you know, under a few dollars, they'd be like, right. oh yeah, here, here you go, play with that for a while. When you're creating your art, do you generally, are you trying to convey something special with each piece, or how do you begin deciding what you're going to create? It kind of depends on the piece. Uh, some pieces I do are very much about specific places. So if I do one about uh, Canandaigua Lake, for example, mm -hmm. I will do sketches of the lake, I will take photographs of the lake, and then I kind of develop um, a, a sketch of the lake, essentially, to kind of find out what's special about that location. Uh, other pieces are a little bit more abstracted, so mm -hmm. I might have some inspiration for like, oh, well, I was hiking and I saw this location in the woods, and I really like the colors of this, but not necessarily the landscape itself, so I might mix and match. The work that you're doing these days, is it more stuff that you just come up with, or is it commissioned work? It's about 50-50. I will do uh, a lot of pieces on my own and you know, various um, topics and subjects, uh, forests and stuff. Uh, but I also get a lot of commission pieces. Uh, people will have their own special places. They will have their own special connections to things. Uh, they like my style, but they, they want it in somewhere else. So I have people that will commission me to do uh, animals. Um, they will have houses, specific sites. Um, things of that nature. They, so what they'll do is, you know, they'll say, oh, I, I really want you to use your style to create something that's memorable for me. And so we'll go through the process of how I create a piece and we do it together. So it's, um, it's kind of like a team project. You know, we'll work on the details of how to make that piece special to them as well. So you collaborate and you counsel as well with the pictures. Yes, a lot. Like we do a lot of back and forth. I'll work on a piece for a while and then when it gets to a certain point I'll, I'll send them a picture of the work in progress and they say, oh I, I really like the sunset. I hate the clouds. Uh, okay, I changed the clouds. Oh, I love the clouds. Can we had a boat. Yes. The nice thing about technology today is that the person asking you to make a commission work doesn't even have to be local. Oh no, I just sold a piece in Switzerland. I oh, uh, wow. never met the guy before, have no connection to him as far as I know, but oh, he awesome. saw a piece of mine online and he said, oh, I want that in my living room. People that will uh, find my stuff online, they follow me uh, either on Instagram or Facebook. And how would they find you on the internet? Uh, through my websites, uh, mostly uh, mikekraus.art at etsy.com. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So, you know, Pinterest, if you I go on there, that, like, yes. you can follow me. And um, Pinterest is kind of interesting because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll make a board and say, like, oh, here's my living room. And this matches all the other items that I, I like for my living room. So that's oh, cool. pretty popular way for interior designers or, 
or people right work. to work with your work and create the space that they want in their home. Oh yeah, they pick and you know, pin everything everywhere. <laughs> Very nice. And in your typical day, how long do you think you spend working on your art? Well, I spend I spend probably about seven hours a day of actual painting. Generally what I do is I wake up in the morning uh, with my wife and she gets ready for work and I'm already at my home studio so I, I start doing all my administrative type stuff but then once, um, once I've answered my emails and stuff I'll, I'll go painting and then when she gets back home it's, I close up the studio for the night and uh, it's, it's, uh, That's it's nice. work. Yeah. yeah, so you block out certain times for your artwork, certain times for family life. Kind of like a jazz musician, I, I don't just, like, I'll do something once and I go, oh, that was, that was great, I really like it. But the next time I'm going to play, I'm going to do this a little bit differently and, and have fun with it. I'll make one that's a little bit more abstracted, and then I'll make one that's a little bit more realistic and see which one I like best. Generally what I try to do is make pieces that are kind of have a zen-like feeling in a way. You want to be relaxed when you're at home or work or something. Mike, I want to thank you for taking your time to meet with us today at Loving Rochester. Oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about my art. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. All right.